Leon C. I'm rather troubled and a little bit disturbed as to what I hear when I listen to MGTOW content in Red Pill. I'm constantly hearing about how these women are insufficient, they're non-virtuous, and I struggle because I'm still interested in finding a woman somewhere along the line. Oftentimes I get completely angry, I go from angry to disappointed to sad, back to angry. But in between there's a little bit of hope there. Yes, I just have to use the word hope, even though that isn't in your dictionary. But I realize that my chances at success is very slim. And as a content creator said, slim just died. But I want to know from you, since you are a different red pill provider, and you are more of a Morpheus than Morpheus, so therefore you are able to talk about things that are on various subjects to free our mind. How is it that I can find this woman that will be most befitted for my life where I know she's not going to jump off the boat with? She's not going to use her hypergamy and I'm not happy strategy. I love your channel. It is a new development and it's a new angle at things. Continue the work of the Lord, dear brother. <laughs> and he uh, left his name as Calvin. Well, it's kind of interesting that you asked me. I'm not a, uh, you know, I'm really not a relationship professional as I would say and uh, well I, I well I'm not a professional of a lot of things but I am capable to answer a lot of things I, of course we know I don't know it all but I did make a promise that I'll do my best to answer your questions as best as possible with the knowledge that I have so I will deliver as you request and thank you for honoring my channel and yes, there are other Red Pill providers. There are MGTOW and other guys who talk about various subjects of the women. And some of them do give ideas. Some of them they they give you uh, they give you the possibilities of what you could do if you are interested. Now, I would tell you this: that I don't want you to feel like there is no here we go, no hope. I, I'll throw the word back at you as a mover, a boomerang, Calvin. There is in your in your interpretation, there is hope somewhere. But in order to get to the silver lining in your sky, you have to know how to maintain yourself first. See, and and I know most men feel that way. They it is it's a, it is kind of like a Russian roulette. And uh, we're all walking on eggshells and you are unsure because it seems like all of them are doing the same. They're a hive mind and and you can't trust them. You don't want to be alone in a room with them. There's all kind of possibilities that they may be some with someone else. Why are they with you? Because we heard the game. We figured out their their strategy and uh, they're telling us on social media that we are insignificant. You know, they don't need us men and. Uh, should they get the opportunity, they'll take full advantage of our resources, whether that mean your time, your energy, your, uh, what do you call that, your attention, and uh, oftentimes your money. That's clearly, that, that's clearly, listen, I understand this, and I feel, your, I feel your pain, brother. But in the other avenue of this, you have to be responsible for yourself. What that means is you yourself have to understand that you got to be your best self first. And even if you are your best self, you have to maintain your ground. You got to maintain your virtue, your your standards or whatever that you are wanting to build for yourself. Whereas when you meet this girl, when you meet this girl, um, she will have something to line up to. Or you could say she will understand that you have a ground of standard. You have boundaries of tolerance that what things you will tolerate and what you will not tolerate. Well, what will happen is if she's for you, she will blend right in perfectly. If she's not for you then uh, eventually she'll fall away or she will pretend to be a chameleon for a short amount of time and she will still eventually fade away. This is why you will hear men say, don't get married. 
no long term relationship because eventually the mask will come off. The mask will come off. There's been many occasions where I met many and plenty of women. <laughs> this is recent. This recent one, I have to laugh at it. Excuse me. This there's a recent one that just it just came to my mind. Where um, I, you know, there's oftentimes, sometimes I feel the same way. Like, okay, you know, we're we're in a grass field. It's it's kind of like you're in a grass field. You don't know which landmine is going to go off or which one is a dud. Okay, so you know, you got all these women who are, uh, you know, they're they're only possibilities. They're possibilities, and you're tiptoeing. But you know, they look good. You know, you need them or you you want them. Whatever the case may be. Uh, your nature says, hey, I'm a man. That's a woman. You know, we are made to be together. You know, we attach, which is, you know, it's common sense in his nature. Right. But you you want to grab one of them. You know, you want to, you know, step your toe on one of them or pick it up or whatever you do. But you don't know which one is live and which one isn't live. You know, live is when this thing is is online. That means this thing is ready to go off. That means as soon as you get close to it, you, you touch it, the sensor is going to go off and you're done. Right. And uh, uh, some of them who which isn't live are just a dud that's just laying there and it's not activated. You would never know because they all look the same. <laughs> they all look the same. You know, there's no uh, uh, I, I guess some of them, depending on how they're made, no blinking lights to let you know if it's live or not. But most times it's not going to be a blinking light because it's there as a trap. It's there. So should the enemy get close to this landmine, they're not going to know that. It's sitting there. It's it's camouflaged within bushels, or the bush. It it looks like green 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 grass around it. You know, there's no blinking lights. There's no noise. There's no humming. It's just sitting there. So you are like, well, there's no hope. You know, the you know all of them look the same. All of them just you know, if I step on one of them, boom. You know, it's Russian roulette. And uh, when you look at it metaphysically and realistically, sometimes it's usually like that. When you think about the high probability and the issues that we are dealing with between man and woman, whereas the trust is not there anymore. And, you know, this thing about love, love is irrelevant. You know, it's all about respect and honor, you know, and, and having a commitment and finding somebody who's virtuous and has not, you know, given all her juice away, which I've uh, described in uh, another audio, which I'm going to refer you to. It's called No Juice Left for Him. No juice to offer. If you want another reference, check out that audio and it's on fire. It talks all about that. <laughs> OK, where there's no juice left over. So just go check that out. OK, check that out that audio. So those kind of things worry you because you don't want to get on this. And if it's not if it's not live, it's not going to blow you up. You grab it. Right. And you smelling it. You hold it. Whatever you do with it. You want to take it, put it in your backpack and go on to your next uh, campsite or whatever the enemy ground or whatever that you do with it. But you're nervous because you don't know if this thing is going to go off at any moment. And it can go off at any moment based on, again, whatever that she did in her past, donkey dunking and not having any juice left over, you know, according to the audio I made. So a lot of men are walking around like that. You know, they, we walk around and we hold these things in our back pocket. We are and we're expecting to survive. A lot of men, they they read red pill content. You know, they go MGDOW. They they understand what's going on in the Western civilization. You know, they, they understand the schematics and the scheme. Right. But yet they still have all these things in the back pocket that can go off at any moment. OK, it, it, some people will call it a hope strategy. It is a hope strategy. But you will say, why is this so when I somewhat am attached to this thing? Because it's your nature. You know, you're man. She's woman. You know, boy meets girl. How can it not be something that's going to flare up in between you? But you must know that that nature has been manipulated. It's been manipulated. You know, you your your manhood has been a, a ploy to be I'll, I'll put it like this. Your manhood has been used against you as a tool to destroy you. So because you need them, there's all kind of system programs in herself and her own manipulation, which manipulates your manhood. OK, so that way, that's what leads you to the point where you are unsure about this little pocket um, landmine that might go off at any moment. <laughs> but I got a, <laughs> I got experience for you. I tell you what, I've been there. I've been there before and I'm going to break it down to you. This is this is hilarious. <laughs> this, <laughs> you know, I, I tell you, I'm always around people and I talk to people all the time. OK, but this certain situation was really threw me off guard. OK, I'm going to tell the story again. All right. And uh, it, it's in my recent audio log, one of my other, my other audios that I gave to you. OK, 
So I uh, I seen this girl at the gym that I work out at every now and then when I'm in town. Okay, and uh, this this girl is my type. You know, she's my type of girl, right? And uh, I can smell her, you know, all the way from the front door. You know, the the beast in me because of you know the pheromones, hormones, and things like that. Okay, I knew she was there. You know, she was all. I just I didn't see her face, but I knew she was there. You know, by my senses. So when I get back there and I'm pumping iron and whatnot, I'm looking around and I notice that, of course, she's standing over there all by herself. And as I describe my other audio, she's dressed to impress. You know, she's she's there to make an impression. But the one she was making an impression on the most was myself because she was my type. You know, she was the type of girl that I was interested in, you know, hands down. Okay. And uh, in my mind, there's several things that came up and I'm going to describe to you in a moment. Of course, you being a man or men understand this when you are at a luster for a woman or especially when she's your type of woman or however. But I'm going to get to that in a moment. I'm just going to tell you the story and then I'm going to fill you in on the details thereafter. OK, and I've, I also described how I was sitting there and I, I was distracted because I'm sitting there looking over there. And it just made me pump iron even harder because I was I was battling against something that, of course, I'm going to bring to you. That just the, just the idea of knowing that she was she wasn't single. You know, she was with someone. So there was I knew that there was going to be some guy that's going to uh, pull up behind her or come around the corner, come out of the bathroom after washing his hands. And, you know, a baby, and they huggy and all that, whatever that they do. Right. So I'm practically over there frustrated and bothered. OK, you know, but, and I'm, and of course, I explain on that when I'm sitting there saying, you know, Jesus Christ, as she was, you know, doing her little, uh, you know, squatting and, and doing the little exercise that she do. But, you know, girl, women aren't stupid. You know, they they know what they're doing. You know, they dress to the point where they want to catch attention. And the other guys were just looking at the body. But, you know, I was looking at her because she was my type, which is a very big thing. She was my type It's different when there's a girl who's doing that. She's not your type. But yet she's dressed to impress and to do whatever that uh, women do, especially when working out. And uh, she catch the attention of other men. But I had a different purpose. <laughs> OK, <laughs> but to kill it. And here's the killer part about it is which it, it, it's hard. I'm going to share it with you, though. I'm going to share. Here's the killer part about it, though. She was there. I, there was a moment where I took a break off of benching and I, I rested for a moment. I was looking at her through the window and I, I the mirror and I still I seen her sticking her finger in her mouth. And of course, she washed her hands so like that. But I, I was like, you know, what is she doing? Like, what, does, what is she doing? And it looked like she was trying to pick something out of her teeth or something like that. Maybe she thought someone was in her teeth and she pulled her finger out. And of course, nothing was there. You know, I'm such a I'm such a bad I'm such a bad man when it comes to knowing who I am and what I like. I'm thinking I'm thinking, I'm thinking to myself, hey, you know, when you when you get done with your finger, can I have it? I'm, I'm, I'm thinking can I'm thinking I, I want some. I'm th I'm bad. You know, I'm real I'm thinking, you know, you, you know, pass it over here when you get done. You know, just just outrate just really out of control. But I didn't know I didn't let her know or anybody else that I was sitting there like that. You know, I was playing it cool. I was playing it cool and calm. Right. But the kicker part about it was I knew the rules. I knew what time of day it was. I knew that she possibly had a boyfriend because 99 percent of them do, even if those they say that they don't. OK. And he ended up coming up behind her. And, you know, you know for sure there was, you know, that was him. Right. But I patted myself on the back for several reasons. I'm going to tell you right now. There's a key word that I just told you. I said type. And what I'm saying right here is there is another perspective behind this as far as knowing how to control yourself. Some people say control your thirst. No, control yourself, you know, and stay within your boundaries and know how um, know how the game is being played on you as a male, that your nature is being played against you. You know, your lust can be played against you. What you need can be played against you. And it's been done so many times. Blue pill betas when they don't figure it out until, uh, you know, until they getting uh, dumped on or until the hypergamy starts rising high or they're in divorce court and their kids are taking the whole nine yards. OK, the two rules here in this measure um, that I have learned over time, and there's many other rules as well of engaging with the person. Number one is knowing your type 
of girl. You have to know the type of girl that, listen, the reason why is because if you are walking around on eggshells, you're walking around with landmines. One of the reason is some men just accept any old type of thing. Men just to take a woman because she's, <laughs> because, because she, he can connect to her. You know, that's all he cares about. You know, as long as she has a fat, she, he goes for it. That's it. You know, as long as she has two legs and hair and she's a female, you know, he's like, oh, that's what I want. <laughs> I'll be your dog for the moment. <laughs> that's how they think. You know, so they end up getting themselves in bad situations because the key thing here, when you know your type of woman that you are interested in, there's two things that you need to be aware of that she can be used as a weapon to destroy you or she could be a possible asset in the future or if things work out, she could be the unicorn, which will be one out of a million. So therefore, you can narrow this girl now. And then the next thing comes that I'm going to share with you in just a moment. That's only one half because there's a thing said you need to know your enemy. Because if you are a weak male, you got, you got a uh, noodle spinal cord. When that woman comes along and she is your type, okay, and you don't know your type, but she's your type and you're feeling something for her. You don't know why you like her. You are attracted to her sexually or whatever else, but you're not realizing that that's the best one out of all of them that you really, really like. Okay. Once you start running game on you, once you start talking crazy and, and, and using, uh, using their manipulation skills and Jedi mind tricks on you, you're going to be weak because the only thing you're going to be looking at is God. She's so beautiful. That's all you're going to be concerned about. And she's going to whop you over the head with a mallet. And you won't even know what happened to you until seven years later. And you broke up with her and she has your DNA with her and you're done for because you were stupid. You got to know your enemy by knowing your type and you know your type as well because you want to know the direction you want to take your life in. If you so happen to do that, and of course, I'm not trying to be a matchmaker here and I'm not trying to give you some hope strategy and saying that it's a good idea to get in a long term relationship. It's a good idea to get married. I, that's not what I'm saying. That is not what I'm saying. I'm saying, should you choose to do such a thing when you know your type of woman? It's not going to do anything but help you because you narrow yourself down to the possibilities of something that might be longevity that you can have for a little bit longer and you won't get tired of. Because the trick is, a lot of times when you are with somebody, they already have experience, especially some of these women here in America. They've already been there and they've done that. You aren't doing anything differently. And oftentimes there's going to be some bored situations where it might not be her to get bored. You might get bored with her. You might get bored with her. And therefore, if you just like, oh, I just want to find a woman who's just going to respect me and then love me and then honor me and stick with me. You're going to be a moron because what's going to happen is that can be any face. That can be any type of woman. That could be any type of person of a type of age range or age group. And just because she off, she has that to offer you you think it's going to be longevity, but you got to remember, you're still a man at the end of the day. And as a man, we are visual creatures on the often on the general basis. We are visual creatures and you got to narrow down your perspective as to what your directives is for yourself. You got to know what's best for you. You got to know what's going to get you over the edge. Yeah. You know, younger women, they have the youth and vitality. They have the potential to make you march like a soldier. You know, I comprehend that. But it's even better when you know this one type of girl or it could be one type of culture. It could be one type of skin tones, one type of I could just one type of girl who will really set you over the edge where you like, this is really what I want right here. Like, this is it. Most guys, when they find the girl and they realize what they like, they're like, okay, this is it. They're willing to give up everything for this girl and get themselves in a jeopardized situation. They compromise their freedom, their peace, their time, and their life. And they end up getting ran over like a tank by this girl because that's, that's where he stops at. That's where he stops at. So you got to be able to recognize this person. Recognize where she's coming from. That way you can avoid that that problem and that obstacle head on. And sometimes you do have to control yourself. I was sitting there on fire. I was on fire. I was on fire. And yeah, everybody has their own preference. You like what you like. But for me, that was mine right there. You know, if somebody, if they say it was an auction, you know, I'll be there. <laughs> I'm telling you. 
I'm being, I'm being honest with you. I'll be the first one with a ticket and I wouldn't sit down. I'd be like, yeah, you know, fight radio, 1,000 here. Blah, 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 yeah, blah, blah. They'd be like, dang, dude, calm down. They'd be like, yep, 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 yep. That's mine right there. Because what happens is, the thing is, it's a one out of a 10 type of situation. It's like a unicorn situation where it doesn't come around often. For me, it don't come around often because I have a certain type of preference, a certain type, a certain type of girl that will really get me going. Okay, and there's a lot of low hanging fruit. There's a lot of women who are uh, they don't they don't take care of themselves. They don't work out. They don't they don't do what needs to be done. And they are like, a, you know, the Pillsbury Doughboy. Well, as soon as you take them home and you take the bra off, everything just falls to the floor. You're like, oh, my God, how did you keep that all together? But some oftentimes it's not like that with several people. If you know your type. And yeah, of course, I didn't take her home. I don't know all that type of stuff, but as a physical trainer and know how the body works, I was able to, well, I, I did my evaluation. I'm like, you know what? That's tight. I'm like, <laughs> that's insane. I'm like, you know, I'm like, where do I sign up? But I had to look at the other side of it that I'm going to share with you. Why a lot of men can't control their lust. They can't control their little bitty head down there. Okay. I was in the hot seat. So I'm able to express that to you. It's good that I experienced it. Whenever Morpheus goes through something and I do teach and I talk to kids, family, so forth, they're women. I'm like, you know what? Somebody needs to hear about this because oftentimes you think that everything is exclusive to you and it's not exclusive to me. It really isn't. There's a lot of men who end up in that situation, but you know what that, you know what that dumb donkey would do? He'll probably get up and walk over there. Oh, uh, are you, uh, are, are you, you got a boyfriend? You single? I'll take you out. Oh, you look good. You know, what's going on over here? And then here come the boyfriend coming around the corner and be like, dude, what the wrong with you? But what the, what, what, what the hell you are? And, and there you go. There you go. There you go. But here we go. Let me go to the next measure here. That's even more vital of why I told you. Number one is know your type. Because again, in your mind, you should always say this. Know your enemy. There's a face. There is a type that will come to you and waylay you when the assassin comes to you. It's not going to be in the form of, you know, this thing is a monster. It's ugly. You know, she's coming to you with missing teeth. You know, you, you can tell that she's just not your type. You know, everywhere she walks is like an earthquake. Like, wait, who's coming over here? Is there an earthquake? You know, like, what the boom, boom. Oh, my God. Like, no, I'm not interested. No, I'm good. No, it's not, they're not going to come. They're going to come to you real lightly like an angel looking like everything you want looking like everything you want and desire to throw you off your game. You're going to be standing there like, oh, oh, man, like what? And you weak. You'll be weak to get you weak is to be everything that you expect and dream. And it's over for you. But here comes a PowerPoint that I'm going to give to you right now. OK, here's the second half. Bear with me. Get this set up for you here. Now, along with that, before I begin, don't get a woman just just because you want to just because you got a woman. There's so many men who say, well, I got, you know, Lisa got me a woman. You know, she's a good woman. But when when I look at her, she's like 230 pounds, you know, pimple face. And no, uh, -uh. absolutely not. Dirty shirt, you know, raggedy shoes and like, oh, this is my baby right here. But that, I mean, if that's your preference, that's fine. OK, like I said, everybody has their own level of expectation. You got your own level of what you like. You like what you like. Maybe what's in a 10 in somebody else's eyes, maybe a not maybe a five to you or maybe even a nine to you. OK, and maybe what's a 10 to you might be a five to somebody else. But if she's a 10 in your eyes, fair enough. But don't be silly and follow our dumb uncles and men of the retarded nation who will tell you, well, just why don't you just go ahead and uh, get with the ugly girl and get with somebody who's uh you know, who's uh, like a walrus because um, 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 because ain't no man going to chase after her. That's stupid. That is really don't even. <laughs> that's so that's so retarded. I feel sorry for you, even if you consider that idea, because you're going to bore yourself after a certain amount. You can only do it so long. You can only be with her ugliness for so long where that ugly is going to make you sick of her. And then you're going to end up with a um, an adolescent a pre-planned failed relationship and especially when you get married to her you know my wife you know i've been with her for 15 years and i look at it like god that that's you know how many people can fit in there like oh, I, I'm, I'm just i'm just saying no i'm just saying okay i'm not i'm not cutting jokes here i'm just telling you don't do it because it depends on your preference and don't do it just because somebody say you got to do that so nobody else can be attracted to your woman if you don't trust her 
if she's untrustworthy, if she's going to, uh, if you feel like she's going to jump off the river off of your boat and find somebody, some other dude. Okay. Um, then you got a problem there. You got a problem. You should be able to get with this girl and have the ability to trust her and not only to trust her, but she has to be trustworthy. Okay. Whereas if she's going to, she's going to act up like that or uh, change and bait and switch you, let her do it on her own terms and uh, let it be done while you are walking your line of principles where you're doing what you can to provide for yourself. You know, you just open up the door. She want to walk out of it. Goodbye. Let her go. Just let her go. Okay. But here's the other part that I was talking about. There's the external. Once you get the external together, you have your preference, you know, the type, you know, the type of girl who may be your 10 specifically. Now it's her internal affair. Now it's her. Here we go. Her mind and her spirit. You know, it's what's her inner working in it. And how you know that is how she functions with you, with your standards. So even if she's if she's everything that you needed to be physically. OK, you can take it to the next level by having your fil your filtering process is your principles and standards. It's what you will tolerate, what you will not tolerate in your relationship with her. So you always walk your line, you walk your boundary and you make it stable with your lifestyle. Therefore, if she's going to blend in with you, if she really wants to be with you, if it's going to be a working relationship, which is nine out of 100. OK, then. Easily, she's going to fit into the plan. She's going to fit into your cog wheel like a well-oiled machine. Okay? So, therefore, you have the ability doing that process to evaluate her while you're spending time with her, whatever hours or moments or whatever that you do with the girl. So, therefore, you have an ability to see her for what she is. If she's going to what you are worried about, um, my emailer, if you're worried about that, when you are on your square, when you stay on your ground and your principles, you will have the ability to see if this landmine is going to pop off on you or not. You will automatically know because you have instincts, you have a third eye, you have an awareness and you have wisdom based on your experience with women, based on your experience of not only knowing what you like, but what you want, what you are seeking for in the relationship. Again, what you are willing to tolerate and what you are not willing to tolerate. That is what it will really come down to. So therefore, why you are spending time with her and when she makes her introduction or you do have the opportunity to find this girl who is a 10 in your world. OK, you are able to have the ability to protect yourself and to build a brighter future if it's going to be one. If it's not going to be one, you're not going to worry about it because you're already on your square. It's just going to be that like that one song. Dun, dun, dun. Another one bites the dust. Dun, dun, dun. Uh, uh. Another one bites the dust. And another one bites. And another one bites. Another one bites the dust. It's just going to be like that. And you're going to be, you're going to keep it moving. You're going to keep it moving. If that's what you want to do, flip them over like pancakes. But okay, this one don't work. Throw it away. Flip. Get another one. Oh, well, she flipped. Flip. Oh, this is half done. Oh, flip, flip. Let it go. All right. The only time when you really have to worry, and this is for a lot of men, not just for yourself. This is definitely for men. When you jump off of your square, first of all, you don't know your type. So you are left. There's a whole lot of enemies around you and you don't even know what they look like. All of them are aimed to hurt you and to destroy you. But yet you are a moron because you are unaware of yourself. You don't even know who you are. So therefore, you don't know who your enemy is because you don't have no you don't have no ground, no standard, no principles. You don't even know what she look like. You ain't even trying to pick someone You're like, oh, as long as somebody respect me, that's all I care about. As long as she's here, you know, you know, she's, you know, I got a woman. You don't got a woman. So what are you talking about? You know, I'm able to lay next to somebody every night and you don't care. But you don't want losing time, energy, money and self dignity that you gave up a long time ago because you denied yourself. It is so easy and it's it's kind of hard to explain to morons, but it's real easy where you got to have the manual of your own life for you. Know what your manual is, what you like, what your preference is, your fluid weight, okay? Your type of antifreeze, uh, the same thing as a vehicle. What is it that your recommendations are? So therefore, should you come across something with a different brand, uh, with a different chemical compound, with a different connection to you and your life, you will have an awareness of the situation. And if it doesn't fit, what happens? 
it will not fit. You'll grab the nut or the bolt or <laughs> the nut and the bolt. You 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 know, you 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 grab the component to try to attach it to it and it's not going to work. Now, I'm not talking about the donkey duck here. Anybody can do that. Dogs, ducks, monkeys, anybody can do that type of dumb stuff. I'm talking about the mind and the spirit. I'm talking about your your equal goal. Having an equal goal, having a having a good friend or a good partner or team or people who have an equal goal. Everybody who is going towards one single source or one single direction. So if she is interested in the direction that you are going and she is sincere about it, okay, then you might have something to work with. Yes, you need to be nervous and often because we have experienced so many times here in the Western world that women will bait and switch you eventually. You know, she'll go along with the program for a little while and she'll get bored and say, you know, I don't like this no more. I want to do something else because there's nine different other beta blue pills that are chasing after her that you don't know of. So she feel like it's more lucrative and better to be outside somewhere else than to not be in your boring home. OK, but before that time happens, it's still up to you to stay on your square and your boundaries and remain steady with what you recommend. Too many times what y'all men do, what y'all do is, you know what you like, your preference and your recommendations, but you let it become emagimated to that product or that item. So what happens is this, like on a car, if something don't fit, you would, you'll chisel down on that part. You will chisel so you can make that part fit and it's still gonna cause damage to the whole car altogether. Because you, you made yourself to be an idiot. Because what happens is she ends up taking stuff from you, taking time from you, telling you what to do, telling you what she wants on the walls, how what color she wants the drapes to be, you know, what side of bed she wants you to be on. You know, uh, uh, where to put your shoes at, you know, whatever that you, she's, oh, what time to come home? How long you working? You know, how many, how much hours and time you spending out with your homies or your boys, right? She don't like that. You know, you in executive meetings way too long. She's hopping you, calling you. Where you been at? What's going on? You know, the kids need you using that as an excuse, as an excuse. You know, your daughter called about you. Your son called about you. You know, um, you know, um, uh, uh, I left this food on the oven for you and I was sitting here getting cold. Where are you? And you sitting there like hum glum donkey. Okay, 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 okay. So every area that you are like chaffing away rust, she keep cutting at you where you can, where she is fitting, you're making her fit into your world, but she doesn't fit into your program. So by you not standing on your own recommendations and quality and foundation and principles, okay, it allows her that she don't have to change. She don't have to change her program. She don't have to compromise. She don't have to give up. She don't have to be accountable. She don't have to measure up to your standards because you're going to make way for her to fit on you regardless where it's going to break you down eventually like a puddle of mud and soft pudding that you usually are. But if you have a recommendation, you have a standard and you got a protocol for yourself that isn't going to be breakable, you're going to be the part that she is going to have to line up to. She's going to have to fit on there. If she don't fit, then she don't fit. If it don't force it, if it don't fit, let her go. Put her back in the toolbox or whatever nut case she came from. Let her go there and find another component that's going to fit with you. And I'm not talking about donkey dunking to recite and to remind you for those who are immature. So therefore, you will have an easy, easy access to understand what you're dealing with when you interface in the opposite sex. You don't have to be afraid. If you decide to go on that path of companionship and love and I'm going to be with you for the rest of my life, you better know what you're doing. You better have a face of this girl and you better know what type of recommendations and standards that you have. If you don't, you're the one who's at fault, who's going to get ran over. You're going to get kicked in the testicles and you're going to be sitting there crying and all the girls going to be walking past like, yep, another one, dude. Mm -hmm. Another fool bites the dust and another one fool and another fool, another fool bites the dust. And then here you are again talking about, I'm scared of women. I don't know what women are going to do. That's because you don't know what to do. Man up and be the king of your world or shut it up. Simple as that. Simple as that. Yeah, I'm not. No, I'm not vouching for women. Don't think that I'm saying, oh, it's all you men's fault. No, I know how treacherous women can be. I'm telling you how to guard yourself. I'm your general in this army, and I'm telling you how to man up and put on your shield and your helmet and walk like a man like you're supposed to be. Stop acting like a boy. Realize the reason is, is because you're thinking with your small head and you're not giving yourself any standards. 
Know what you like. Know the face of the enemy. Have a preference directory and have a direction for your life and know what type of standards and filtering that you have. Therefore, you won't tolerate BS. The moment you stop tolerating BS, then everybody around you have to line up to your standard. If they're not lining up to your standard, you're lining up to their standard. Dog eat dog. So therefore, you want to be the puppy? Go ahead. Go ahead and be the puppy like the rest of them walking around in the grocery store holding the purse. Yes, honey. Okay, honey. Okay. <laughs> okay. 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 And she'll run right the hell you over. 14 years later, you're divorced. Because you were sucking on your thumb instead of sucking on some knowledge. Stop the nonsense. As easy as I'm making it sound, I know how difficult it is because there's a variation of people out there and a variation of preference, but you are responsible for yourself. If you can't handle the fire, get out of the kitchen. Get out of the, if you can't handle it, get out of the kitchen. Because you're supposed to be this dude where he's like, you know what? I know what I want. I'm interested in this type. I know this kind of girl. And should she come around? Okay. I'm going to give her, I'm going to give her the, I'm going to give her the opportunity to show me what she got and what she's able to, what she able to do. Okay. And if she, if it just, if it don't work, it don't work. I have the door open, wide open where she can leave. Like you do a football, you punt it. You take, just drop it to the ground and you go ahead and kick it. Boom. It's gone. Out. Catch down, you know, it's, you know, get a score of it. But the problem is a lot of you men, y'all accept low hanging fruit, low profile, low attitude, nasty attitude. You validate bad behavior. You become the boy in the relationship. She runs all over you. You co you holding the grocery cart. You soft and saggy. Okay. So she's punting you or she's punting you around. And your all ideal is, well, at least I got something to touch when I go home. At least I got a woman. I'm married. And you, and you sound proud. I've been married for 10 years. And I'll, and I'll look at you in your face. Yeah, what have you accomplished? Well, you know, I'm doing this and doing that. And I'm looking at you. Yeah, but I'm all over the place. I'm free to do whatever I wanted to. I can stay up as long as I want to go. What I want to do, whoever I want to do. Travel the country. Free to do whatever I want to do. And you sitting here bound in ignorance. And then most times you ain't happy. After 10 years, like, man, can you buy my woman? No, no, no. <laughs> you'd be like, you'd be like, can you, you, man, this, you know, can you buy my wife? Go ahead. How much you want for her? But no, 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 no. You keep, no, absolutely not. No, because when you signed up on this, most times the dudes will sign up on the page, sign that, uh, what do you call that? You know, divorce paper, the, the, um, what do you call that? You got to get a, I think it's a blood test, something like that. And you got to get the uh, divorce certificate and all that type of crazy stuff to go through legal ties and stuff to get married. When you signed up on it, you looked over, you didn't think 14 years ahead. Like, okay, all right, where did I get this girl? What kind of used car lot did she come from? And is she going to last that long? And what is she going to look like 14 years later? All you thinking is I got a woman. That's it. I got a woman. Yay. Yay. When, if you are concerned about the internal affairs of this woman, even if her body gets a little older, you know, she start gaining a little weight. If you appreciate what she brings in your life, if she's a homemaker, she's cooking for you, she's doing for you, she's diligent, she's faithful, she loves you, she cares about you, all the stars all the way across. If she's doing this and she's not jumping over the bridge, she's taking care of your kids, she's laboring next to you, and this is the girl who's internally connected to you, then yeah, you'd be like, oh, I love this girl. You'd be like, yeah, she's, she's awesome. You won't mind the fact that she gained just a little weight, a few pounds. You won't mind that because you care about her. You care about her. You got a connection to her. You see, she's doing, she's adding, she's adding, what do you call that? Value to your life. You be like, oh, I got to go get some groceries. She's not, nah, nah, baby, I got it. She go get the groceries, pay for it and all that. Refrigerator all full of food, right? You didn't even have to spend a dime. You're like, okay, you know what's going on? She's like, no, nah, don't worry about it. I took care of it. I got it. I got it. Oh, man, I need to go pay for this car. You know, my wheel busted or something like that. She goes, oh, don't worry about it. I took care of it. I already paid the mechanic. It's done. You'd be like, dang. Be like, oh, oh, wow. Okay. All right. Cool then. All right. Um, um, you need me to do something? No, nah, don't worry about it. I, I got to go cook some. I got to go cook. Just do what you do. Um, You know, the bath water's ready. You know, just chill for a moment. And then she scurry off and she's still taking care of her dish. You ain't even asked for nothing. Just cooking. You'd be like, dang. Like, uh, dang. Now you feel like you owe her something. No, I'll just be you. Don't come with the O and Pro. I ain't even gonna get into that. 
I'm not going to get, <laughs> I'm not going to get into that. No, but that's just a sheer indication. Like you got something here, but it never goes that far because what you initiate at first, it's always, dang, she got a fat. Oh, baby, you look sick. Oh my, look at this. Holy, sh you see that girl over there? But you, that's, that's what you start off with. And then you forget about the internal affair. You forget about the quality and you have no standards. But you, there is a chance where you can blend that together. Now, when you get an ugly girl, I listen, if the girl is ugly and you know you don't really like her that much, but you're doing it, but she has a lot to offer, that's how it's going to get born. She can bring as much quality as she can in your life as you may require, but you still have to look at her in the morning. You got to smell her bad breath. You got to see her raggedy, matted hair. You know, you got to you gotta deal with her. It's just her days her heavy and light you got to deal with a lot of mess and her attitude there's nothing worse than an ugly girl with an ugly attitude because that's what really gets y'all men and y'all don't even understand it like y'all just running around like donkeys y'all just don't get it you don't even know your own nature you a man of visual you a man that likes pretty things and at the same time it has to be an internal pretty thing too a pretty face and a pretty soul how about that a pretty face and a pretty personality there's nothing worse than a, a girl who you really don't like you're just doing it because oh i got a woman that's it she's a five star but you know she's here every day she cooks for me she cooks for me and then she have her ugly days and she's already ugly that's usually the tipping skill there now you don't want to go home you're like dang you know like god what was i thinking and now you got plans to cheat. Now you got plans to try to find some other some other woman because you failed yourself. So instead of you reaching high and, and reach the high goal, say, you know what? If some of you who are religious be like, you know what, God, I want to find a really, really good looking girl that you know what? That knocks my socks off. Instead of you doing that and remain steady, the first girl comes along to you who's busted ugly. And just because she gives you some attention, you're like, well. She's not exactly what I want. She's okay, but you know, she's giving me what I, you know, what I need. Small. Okay, I'll I'll do it. And then you fail yourself. 5 years later, she show the other side of her because a lot of people are going to do that eventually, especially the pretty girl. Eventually, she's going to show you her ugly side. She's going to have an attitude. She's going to transform ugly immediately, and then all that beauty on her face and body whatever it is will disappear immediately, and you'll be like, "Dang, you're really ugly on the inside." But it might be something you can deal with. It may be a fluctuation there. It might be a good boundary safety zone because at least she's cute, but yet she has an ugly attitude. Okay, I'm not give I'm not trying to give you this advice. I'm just saying it makes sense though. But if she's ugly, and then she have an ugly attitude. That's that's five inches deep. You done for. By that time, you like, dang, like, wow, like, God. Now you sick of yourself. And now you're looking at other women in a PORN magazine. Now you're looking at stuff online. Now you're looking at Pornhub. You know, now you're looking at other stuff because she can't she can't excite you no more because you signed up for it because you forgot. You forgot you was a man. You forgot you was a man. That's why I don't recommend long term relationships or marriage because y'all idiots. Excuse me. And we won't go there because y'all don't think straight. OK, so what ends up happening is you end up failing stuff instead of saying, well, if I get into it, I got to remember that I'm a man. I got to supply what I need as a man. What is it that I need in my recommendation in my manual? When you figure that out, then you will know what you're getting yourself into. So therefore, if you're going to settle down with this girl, you better make sure. Listen, you better make sure she is that daggone marching army. She's a one woman army. She is the army. You better make sure that y'all don't do it. You better make sure that she is coming prepared, whereas she is every soldier in one. Because if she lacks it and you get with this girl. Forget about longevity. Forget about a long last relationship because she's going to be lacking in some points that you're going to really need and probably want at a certain time of your life. And she won't be able to provide it. And you're going to stick yourself. You're going to be a dumb walking mule and you're going to hate your relationship. And here comes the cheating. Same as what she does. She do the same thing, too. Of course she does. Of course she does. That's a no brainer there. She loves her low hanging fruits. These aggressive, mindless, blue pill dudes. Of course. I ain't even going to get on that because I've explained that in the other audio. 
as much of a reprimand you think this is, this is actually for your empowerment. This is actually to help you, man. It's just in a different angle. This is an 80-20 and I'm still providing support for you if you pay attention to what I'm saying. It's not always the enemy that's coming at you. It's what you're going to do for the enemy. What you what are you doing to defend the enemy? What are you doing to change your game plan? First of all, stop being an idiot and get to know yourself first. Be the best that you are. Have a preference and control your preference. And when the preference is before you, evaluate it to see how much of a benefit you can get from it. And you just might get lucky. You just might get lucky. But it would never be on the table. You would never succeed if you don't know anything about yourself. We get together all the time with the wrong partner, with the wrong friend, with the wrong lover. And we wonder what happened at the end of the road. And we wonder why we are so distorted because we're silly. You've been hearing from coaches all the time. You've been hearing from uh, advisors all the time. You've been hearing from so-called professional relationship people all the time. They say, be your best self. Be your best self before you call yourself trying to go out there and find the best. Because the best will be there and you will never notice it. Because you're going to make the best the worst. And then you're going to have the worst experience afterwards while you're kicking yourself in the butt by making the worst decision possible by not being prepared to filter out this thing to see how far it can go or what it is in your life there's no need for fear it's only move there's only fear there's only the only fear is the fear of you failing yourself that's the only fear the only fear is the fear of you not knowing what you're doing with what you have therefore they are in the numbers but in order to get it right you're going to have to make yourself the filtering process and when you go through the filtering process you just might put yourself in a position to receive if that's the angle you want your life to go there's your answer you came to Leon C aka Morpheus this is how I teach this is how I am I'm always on fire well at least most times it may seem like I'm upset. I'm not upset. I'm just usually passionate when I talk. That's just the angle I come from. You are in the Academy of Wild Men by your Red Pup provider, Morpheus. Like, share, and subscribe and get that book, 2020 America Rise and Far Hard. And go ahead and support our channel on my Patreon.